Rotation and revolution. Did you know that the Earth is always in motion? We don't see or feel it moving. That's because everything on Earth is moving with us. Think of riding in a car down a highway. Pretend you're sitting very still. You don't feel like you're moving. You don't seem to be moving, but you're moving at 50 miles per hour down the highway. Traveling on the Earth is like that. Let's look at the Earth's movement. First, the Earth is always moving around the Sun. The Sun is the center of the solar system. The Earth and all other planets orbit it. We call this a fixed orbit. It always stays the same. We say that the Earth revolves around the Sun. It constantly goes around it. It never stops. We call this the Earth's revolution. How long does it take the Earth to complete one revolution around the Sun? It takes about 365 days. We call this time one year. Other planets have longer or shorter years. Mercury has a very short year. It takes only 88 days to go around the Sun once. But a year on Neptune takes around 60,000 days. What's another way the Earth moves? The Earth also spins around. It rotates. We call this the Earth's rotation. Have you ever watched a top spin around? The Earth does the same thing. The Earth's rotation is very important to us. Have you ever wondered why we have days and nights? Why does the sun seem to come up in the morning? Why does it seem to go down at night? Days and nights happen because of the Earth's rotation. The Earth spins around from west to east. As it spins, one side of it faces the sun. The other side faces away from the sun. When we're facing the sun, we have light. We call it day. When we face away from the sun, we don't have the sun's light. We call it night. It takes 24 hours for the Earth to rotate once. We call this one day. In the morning, the sun looks like it's rising in the east. Our side of the Earth is turning towards it. We are coming into the sun's light. In the evening, it looks like the sun is setting in the west. Our side of the Earth is turning away from the sun. Night is coming. What is happening on the other side of the world when we have day? That's right, the other side of the world is having night. When we have night, they have day. There's more to learn about the Earth's rotation. We say the Earth rotates on its axis. The axis is an imaginary line that goes through the middle of the Earth. It helps us understand how the Earth spins. The axis is not straight up and down. The Earth tilts a little as it spins. This tilting is very important. It's the reason we have seasons. We can think of the Earth as being in two parts, the top part and the bottom part. These are called hemispheres. The top of the Earth is called the Northern Hemisphere. The lower half is called the Southern Hemisphere.
Sometimes the northern hemisphere is tilted toward the sun, and sometimes it is tilted away from the sun. In January, the northern hemisphere is tilted away from the sun. So it doesn't get much of the sun's light. The southern hemisphere gets more sunlight. So the southern hemisphere has summer, while the northern hemisphere has winter. The southern hemisphere has longer days. The northern hemisphere has shorter days. The North Pole is now in darkness for six months because it is tilted away from the sun, and the South Pole has six months of day because it is always tilted towards the sun. In June, the Northern Hemisphere is tilted toward the sun; it gets more direct sunlight. It's summertime in the northern hemisphere. What season is it in the southern hemisphere? That's right, winter. Now the southern hemisphere gets shorter days. The northern hemisphere gets the longer ones. The poles are now in opposite positions to where they were in January. With the North Pole having six months of day and the South Pole six months of night. In March and September, the sun is facing right at the middle of the Earth. The rays of the sun hit the northern and southern hemispheres equally. Days and nights are about equal in length. It's not hot like summer. It's not cold like winter. We have spring and fall. Winter, spring, summer, and fall—they all depend on the sun and the tilt of the Earth. What is your favorite season? Remember, the movement of the Earth does many things. It helps us measure time. It gives us years and days. It gives us daytime to play in, and nighttime to sleep in. It gives us winter, spring, summer, and fall. The movement of the Earth is very important. Let us now summarize what we have learned. 